Hi everyone, my name is Stefani Mesrobio and I'm part of Management Mixes team. Uh, today's online awareness session is about ISO 2000-2018 Food Safety Management System. So first we're going to talk about food safety and its importance, then we're going to see what ISO 2000 and its timeline of review, then we're going to see the elements of a food safety management system, and finally we're going to talk about the benefits of an ISO 2000 certification. So as you know, everyone has the right to eat safe, nutritious and sufficient amount of food. But still till today, every one in 10 people fall sick from eating contaminated food. So children cannot go to school, adults cannot go to work, and human development cannot take place. So what do we mean by food safety? Food safety is having the absence of food hazards in our food, or in other terms, is having the safe or acceptable levels of food hazards that do not cause any damage to human health. What do we mean by food hazards? Food hazards are classified into three categories. They could be biological, chemical, or physical. Biological hazards could be bacteria or virus. Chemical hazards could be any chemical residue, for example, pesticide residue. And physical hazards could be, for example, insects. And in, in general, biological or chemical hazards could not be visible to the plain eye. So food safety has a major impact on uh, the safety of our food from the uh, harvesting to receiving, processing, production, distribution, till consumption of food. So complying with global food safety standards, uh, applying effective food safety system controls, including emergency preparedness and response, uh, the provision of uh, clean water, and applying uh, an effective food safety management system, organizations can ensure food safety. So food safety has become a shared responsibility between the government, the producer, and the consumer. So in this way, food safety can be ensured from farm till table. So what do we mean by ISO 22000? ISO 22000 is the international guidelines, the standard for a food safety management system that has been set out by the International Organization for Standardization. It has been first published in 2005 and it has been lately reviewed in 2018, which is why the new version of the standard is now called ISO 22000-2018. This standard sets out not only the procedural requirement for the food safety management system, but also the infrastructural requirements. So now we are going to see together what are the main elements of a food safety management system. I would like to add also that this standard can be applicable to any type of organization that are involved in the food chain and they are committed to the food safety, consumer safety, and that they would like to prevent the risk of contamination of the hazards. So as I said, the ISO 22000, when it's applied, the organization will develop the uh, organizational culture, so the employees will become more aware of the food safety hazards and they will become more proactive, preventive, rather than reactive to any food safety incident. So here, the standard requires that the organization sets out the processes that are essential for the smooth operation of the food safety management system. And this will be more effective through a communication channel between the suppliers, between the management, the employees, the food safety management team, uh, and the consumers. In addition, the standard requires the commitment of the top management in the effective implementation of the food safety management system and its continuous improvement. Moreover, the standard requires the provision of the resources to ensure that the food safety management system has been effectively implemented. And when we say resources, we do not only mean the human resources, but also, but also uh, financial and infrastructural resources. So as we said, the standard has been divided to two structures. We have the operational uh, structure and the organizational structure. The organizational structure is more concerned with the HR, the resources, so the organization has to ensure that the, uh, all the employees uh, know their responsibilities and are competing to do their job so that they achieve the, their intended result. For example, uh, the, the purchasing, they ensure that the, all their suppliers are approved and uh, the raw materials are uh, uh, with, with good quality. And when we talk about the operational structure, here the organization, the standard requires that the organization assesses the hazards at every stage of the cycle in the food chain, and they set control measures facing for each uh, hazard to control them. So here it's not only necessary to uh, 
uh, implement control measures to face the hazard, but also it's important to monitor the effectiveness of the control measures. So it's not only sufficient to implement the food safety management system, but to monitor its effectiveness. And this could be done through quali qualitative and quantitative analysis. So the standard requires to define the documentary uh, records to uh, document the uh, root cause analysis, corrections, corrective actions, in order to prevent the reoccurrence of the food safety incidents. So this was the brief description of the main elements of the food safety management system. Of course, they should be customized per company. So some of the reasons to get ISO 22000 certification, here are some statistics. As we said, one in 10 people get sick from eating contaminated food, or in other terms, 600 million people fall sick from foodborne illnesses. 420,000 people die yearly from foodborne illnesses. 30% uh, of that are uh, for in children below five years old, and $78 billion are lost only in the United States from uh, food waste. So some of the benefits of ISO 22000, there are many of course, but the main ones are that it reduces the food safety incidents and therefore costs. It complies with legal requirements and with HACCP uh, principles. It decreases the errors and the uh, customer complaints. It uh, makes continual improvements. It uh, makes optimization of the company's processes and products. It improves the relationship between the suppliers, consumers, and even with the employees. It gives a competitive advantage for the company in the market and improves the reputation, and therefore improves the overall performance of the company in the marketplace. So this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more online awareness sessions. Thank you for watching.